Hi everyone, David here from davidumeaudio.com and in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to create your very own glitch sound effects. Now, I'll be using some paid tools in this video, but actually, everything you can replicate yourself using free tools. So, let's ju jump into the project. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Before we do, if you haven't checked the description yet, I have some free sound effects to give you exactly um, the same sound effects that either we're gonna be creating in this video or using the same technique. So, make sure you check that link for free sound effects that you guys can use in your projects, in your videos, in your games, whatever it is. So, let's jump into the project. I'll show you guys how to create these sound effects. All right, so before we begin, I always like to show you guys an example of what we're gonna be working on, uh, the kind of sounds that we are gonna be creating. So here is what we're going for. So those are the sounds, or some examples of sounds. I mean, there's gonna be a lot more than that. So. Right, so these are the kinds of sounds we're going for, so these really glitchy uh, sound effects. So uh, let's start from scratch, though, so we can um, see how we're gonna do this. So the uh, first thing you'll wanna do is load a synth. And uh, like I said, you can use a free synth. I'm using Omnisphere here just because that's that's what I'm used to, that's what I like to use, and because I can modulate parameters really easily with this. So, uh, But so for this first technique, it'll be nice to use a synth where you can modulate uh, parameters and assign them to your uh, MIDI keyboard. So for example, right now I have assigned to my keyboard, I have the pitch here that you can see is moving as I'm moving my keyboard. I have this sh uh, shape, uh, symmetry, heart sync, and I have a few other parameters that I've loaded on here, like the wave shaper, somewhere on here, there you go. And yeah, like these frequency, these parameters as well, there you go. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna press play and record. I'm just gonna hold one note. So right now, what is this? So this is just a sine wave. All I'm gonna do is press record and then I'm just gonna move these uh, these parameters that have modulated to my, that have assigned to my keyboard. I'm just gonna move them around until we get some really um, cool and crazy sounds. So let's hear what this might be like. All right, so there is our first sample. So I'm gonna be exporting this one out. But for now, I'm just gonna, uh, whoop. I am just gonna mute it. Where are we here? There we go. And now, so this is the first way to do it. The second way uh, that I'm gonna do it, in case you can't assign your, you know, your notes to your MIDI keyboard or anything like that, is I'm just gonna uh, make a sound that I think is sounds really interesting. And then we're gonna add some, uh, a plugin to it. So let's. <laughs> Maybe something like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I have on here uh, Hysteresis. This is by Glitch Machines. It's a free plugin, so I'll put a link in the description for it. But uh, yeah, it's a free plugin. Obviously Glitch, glitch Machines says says it right there in the name. They're really, all their plugins are really great for creating glitch sounds. But instead of just like putting it on and just seeing what we can come up with, what I like to do is press the random button here. And you can see we already get like these really cool sounds, but so what are, what I'm actually gonna do is when I press record, we're gonna do a similar thing where I'm just gonna record an audio file on here. Uh, but while I'm doing that, I'm gonna move a few parameters around that I have assigned to my uh, Omnisphere patch. But also what, I'm, what you'll notice I'm gonna be doing is pressing the random button a lot. So I'm gonna be pressing it. I'm gonna try to do it every, you know, half second or so. So let's hear and let's see what this might be like.
All right, so here is our second file. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna export uh, these two and then we're gonna import them back in. So we'll see you guys really soon. All right, so we're back and I've exported these two files and now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna load a new uh, instance of Iris here. Uh, you don't have to use Iris, like I said before, you can use some so, uh, any sampler really. Uh, I'm just using Iris because that's, that's what I've loaded, that's what I wanna use, uh, but uh, yeah. So I'm, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna import the files into here. All right, so both files have been loaded. Now what I'm doing is I'm just gonna highlight the parts where I actually played, like that. And then, so I'm just gonna mute number, well, let's mute number two for now. So we'll start with number one. So this is our first um, sample that we created. Now what I'm gonna do is for number five, this is our amp envelope, so our amplitude envelope. So I'm just gonna bring this down. It's already assigned to the gain here, so if I play something. <laughs> Let's say if I wanted to shorter, I can do shorter. So it sounds pretty cool already. Now I'm just gonna apply a little bit of distortion on here. There you go. And there you go, you have some nice little glitchy sound effects, hits or impacts that you can use. So now what I like to do is I just like to scan through the file. So I like this part here, I might print that out. All right, so I'm just gonna print this out. Great, now what I'll do next is just scan through the file. So let's see what else we can get. So this sounds kind of cool. I like that one as well. Let's record that. So usually I find the best sounds right now are really high on my keyboard, like when I play really on the high range. And the cool thing too is like you can change the envelope here, so I might go something like this. So that sounds cool, let's record that. Let's record that one. Alright, let's keep on scanning through the file here. We'll do one more and then we'll move to the second file. That one, it's really punchy. And there you have it. So this is file number one. Now let's go on to our file number two. This is the one where we had uh, hysteresis on it. So let's see, um, let's do something similar, the exact same thing. So I'm just gonna scan through the file. Um, I see here that my root node is really high, so I'm just gonna bring this down. There you go. And let's scan through the file. That one's cool. All right, so I got a little carried away there. I actually <laughs> recorded uh, quite a few down here just because I was able to get some pretty good sounding ones. So, um, but yeah, this is the basic idea behind it. Um, and of course, you know, you can be creative. You can use, you know, instead of using a synth, maybe you'll want to use a sampler and use samples instead of to create like these uh, long glitchy files that you can then import back into the sample and then like, um, 
uh, you know, print them out as impacts or as whooshes or, or whatever it is that you might want. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful and valuable. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And again, uh, check the link for those free sound effects. I'll leave a link for those in there. So uh, I think that's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.